In this lesson, I want us to connect uh, some of the menus that we've already worked on to the front end of the website. So let's first start off by going to the home. When you go to the current home homepage right now, it's just blank. You don't see anything there but just this word home. That's because we have to connect uh, the back end to the front end. So we'll do so by going to from the menu item type. You want to click on select. You go to SP Page Builder and you click on the page. And then you want to click where it says select the page. You clicked on select. And this is going to list all the pages that you've created with Page Builder. You want to select the home and then save and close. Next, you want to connect the About Us. So you do the same thing. Click on select, About Us. And I'm just going to delete that alias. And then you click on Save and Close. Now we're going to do the same thing for Rooms. And I'm just deleting the alias because there's just a bunch of numbers, the dates for that. And that really doesn't help you. So for SEO purposes, if you have just a bunch of stuff there, just delete it. And it's going to automatically uh, replace, replace that for you. So let's go over now to the Asset and choose that one and click on Save and Close. Let's go over to Blog. Click on articles and you want to create, click on uh, category blog. And then we're just going to leave it at the, uh, on categorize since that's the only category that has been created. And then click on save and close. And then the form is connected. The contact is is correct uh, is connected. All that is needed now is just a gallery. So for the gallery, we have to create a new page with page builder since we don't have anything for that yet. But if you refresh the home page now, you're going to see that the things that were created is going to show on the site. Now you have this home here and let's just take that off. Let's go back to the menus. We don't really need that word home there. So it says show page heading. You want to click set that to no. And that is for the browser. So the search engines and people can know what that page is about. Right now it's just saying home at the very top here. So once we refresh this, you notice that that home is gone and everything's moved up. Okay, so now let's go back here to Page Builder and let's click on New and let's type in Gallery and go to the add-on. So here you see the gallery. Let's click on this and then we're going to do the same thing to, you know, to add the images as we've done before. So I've added all the, the, the pictures for the gallery. So you click on this one here. This is the first one and the janitor suite. And then you have the superior executive. And uh, I want to note that all the pictures, they're, you know, they're different sizes. So that will give it a certain type of um, effect for, for that particular page. So once you're done, you click on save. And then let's click on save here. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this page to the front end so you can see what it looks like. So when you connect it, if your page looks something like this, uh, it doesn't look right. This is not how it's supposed to look. That's because um, <clears throat> there's something that you missed. So in order to fix this so that it looks like this, this is how it's supposed to look. In order to fix it, when you click on it, then you get a bigger uh, picture or it gives you a little bit more. But when you click on it, it's supposed to be that way. So to fix that problem, what you want to do is you have to go to the deluxe, to the first one that you created and scroll down. You notice here, this one says the column. So that's pretty much taking up the 12, it's taking up the entire page. So this one is taking up the entire page. And when you go to the next one, the, the junior suite, which is right here, this one is taking up the column size is six. Once again, remember that this is based on the 12 uh, column scale. So everything has to, the whole page has to total 12. You can't have more than that. So that's why <clears throat> this one is 12, the big one is 12, this one is six, and then you go down to the other one that's six as well, and then the, the last two are three, so that everything kind of fits in uh, you know, perfectly, it blends in. So this is what it looks like now. And then of course you can be able to click on each one. So once again, if your page looked like this, where everything just looks straight down and distorted, that's because you didn't utilize the columns properly. Once you make those changes, uh, you should pretty much be good to go. So we've linked all the pages to the front end. And when you click, you, you know, just kind of surf around and you get a feel for, you know, what the site is about. 
So now we just have to go to the forms and just create a couple categories so that people can start to uh, become part of it. All right, let's move on to the next lesson.